All right, well, welcome back to some more Danganronpa! Trigger Happy Havoc, and I guess we shall do a little bit more gambling in this episode, since I got a bunch of items last time, and... Uh, okay, I got some scissors. Now, what in the world am I supposed to do with those, with those items that I got? All of those presents that I got. I don't know where I got the... What is that, like a fanny pack? I don't know. I know I got, like, a red costume, this, those scissors, some pants, some gaffla little pants of some sorts. I have, like, no idea. And, uh, a shiny book over there. Okay. Now, I do notice that, um, that uh, the more items I get, uh, the higher the repeat chance will go, like, will go higher. So, well, I guess it's understandable. And... I can only assume that once we get to, like, 100%... Oh, whoa! Well, that's uh, definitely something. Uh, that is surely gonna be helpful against uh, Monokuma. Like, whenever he whenever he uh, comes to the bathroom with me, I'm gonna slash him in pieces and... And I'm gonna piss in peace. Uh, also, that... I can only assume that is like a... That is like a thingy you can grab people with and go all... GET OVER HERE! Now I also got like a, like a watch. I guess that's pretty good. All right, what else? I got all those Monokuma coins. It's, it is super cool. And uh, the last one. Sweet deal. I got all those expensive stuff. Uh, and uh, I don't know what that is, but I guess we should check these, like right now. Uh, the G Sick. Most people consider it a throwaway watch due to its. Uh, poor quality. Still, it enjoys massive popularity thanks to its low price. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. Since Hope Speak Academy doesn't have a barber, the students are responsible for cutting their own hair. I don't know. I guess so. A quality chinchilla cover? A dark red seat cover? Oh, it's a co- It's a seat? Its refined design is intended for only the most elite c play- Wait, what? I don't even know. Well, we got this. Ah, it's the Muramasa, the strongest weapon ever made. It's great for dungeon diving and lets you warp through walls. Whoa. Of course, it doesn't actually exist in this reality, so... Well, well it's pretty much useless. The Reagan Zudion. <laughs> Created with high-tech future technology, a single shot can melt every molecule in a fully grown human. There aren't any batteries though, so you can't fire it. Well, that's just fantastic. Yeah, I got all those items over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those, but I I can only think of one thing. Uh, and if that's true, then I'm actually gonna be a little bit surprised and also really, really excited if uh, what we're gonna do with those items is gonna be true. But I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna. <clears throat> I'm just gonna be silent about it and see what else we have here. Oh, okay, we have uh, Hina hey, over Makoto. here. What's up? What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left, uh, left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Alright, well, sweet deal. I also have, uh, I also have uh, Toko. Toko together with those other two. Quite a combination. What do you want? You look like you have something to say. Oh no, I, I was just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. Uh, let me make this perfectly clear. Me hanging out with two people who have muscles where their brain should be is not by choice. Just a wow, that was super mean. <clears throat> Yesterday you were complaining how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's being, she's being nice about things. What do you have to say, Toko? I never ask you to do that. Stop trying to drag me further into your meat dimension. Jeez. I can't believe she just ran off. You think you should go after her? We shouldn't pressure her any further. Oh. Eh, good point. They're like water and oil anyway. It'd be weird if they did get along. Although I won't surprise if they actually did. Who knows? Eh, that that uh, Fukawa girl is... Uh, is definitely uh, a special case. <clears throat> I don't know if um, if I'm actually gonna have like anything to deal with her or not. It kind of depends. Uh, we do have this mailbox here once again. It looks like some kind of mailbox, but there's nothing in it. What do you mean? There's like nothing in it. There was like a Monokuma coin. You know how great those are. Those are like the best things ever. I mean, seriously. 
Man, what the hell is with this metal hatch thing? It's really on there, that's for sure. Anyway, there's nothing to do around here. I'm gonna freaking die of boredom. And being stuck in here is keeping me from racing toward my dream too. Hey, um, your dream? Yeah! Yeah! To become a musician! It can sense my aura, right? The strongest vocals of the century right here. How cool is that? God, I feel so cool getting to say that in front of a national celebrity. Dreams. Did you say something? Ah, oh, sorry, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Dreams. Dreams! Mondo Owada! Do you have dreams? Mondo? What are you doing? What? Trying to find a way out. I figured I'd give it another shot. Oh, this There's gotta be a way to bust this thing open. Hell yeah. But I suck at picking stuff up, so I guess I'll let you guys figure it out. Hey, damn it. Once it's time to act though, you just let me know. I'll show you what a real man can do. Wow, sounds like we can really count on you, Mondo Wada. I guess so. He is going to be the muscle type, even though Sakura is the muscle type as well, so... Who is going to be the winner? Mondo Wada or Sakura? Oh god, I honestly don't know. But anyway, I guess we shall... I guess we shall go to the gym right now. Not before we go to the bed. No, nah, wait, hold on, hold on. I think that Monokuma is waiting for me once again. I I think I'm just gonna let it be for a different day. I don't think I really wanna deal with the bathroom right now. I already went to the bathroom, although in not in not the peaceful way, but still, <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna let it for a different day. I don't think I really wanna go there yet. All right, well we are right over here. Um, what do you have to say? Hey, um, here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Yeah, I'm sure I found something in the display case I can use. Hmm, the display case, you say? Hmm? Okay, well. Uh, what if. Uh... Hold on. Hold on a second. You know what time it is? It is surveillance camera time! Decoy? The cameras can see us, even here! Ah, oh, no uh, Monokuma coin? Well, I guess that's definitely something. Alright, another one of those monitors. Uh... Yep! <clears throat> Another Monokuma coin. All right, let's uh, let's check the display case over here. I wonder if there's uh, something good over here. Uh, sure enough, there is a katana. There is a katana over there. That is gonna be good for. Um, that is gonna be good for her. <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff on the shelves up above. Even though I I do have myself my uh, Mura uh, Murasama, my sword. So I don't really need like a second sword. Uh, Sayaka is definitely gonna have that one. Some terracotta clay figures. They don't look like the kind of thing you'd put in a high school gym. Though it is good, it is a pretty good uh, hiding spot for a Monokuma coin, that is for sure. It's a gold statue of Buddha. Why is something like that on the display? I don't know. I guess uh, I guess Monokuma does have um, does have some um, like uh, design uh, choices. Some really weird design choices. I don't know. A flick. I guess it's to commemorate some kind of championship. A championship for what? A championship for the best murderer ever? <laughs> Alright. We do have some helmet of some sorts. That is gonna be that could be useful. Why is something why is something like that on display? I don't know. Maybe uh You know, I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking that this is not the first time that Monokuma does something like this. I doubt that this is actually the first time that uh, all of the students are right over here and just uh, doing this this sort of stuff. Well, I guess an example would be Danganronpa 2 <laughs> with totally different students. So I don't think we are like the first people. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just... A oh no, I think it's just a re replica. No. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in gold clo uh, gold coating. But... Ah, jeez. I barely touched it and I got that gold stuff all over my ha my hands. Ah, oh, what the heck. Um. That is such a, such a rip-off. Such a replica. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey. You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you'd better be uh, be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in a newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. Uh, 
don't see anything I could really use for the self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not, a, it's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon ever, after all. Sayaka giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> it gets me so pumped! I uh, no, wait, no. I'm not gonna go that route again. Okay, we can stop looking for a weapon, then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Alright, well, I guess so. Unless I wanna talk with somebody else, but given the fact that I'm... Well, actually, can we go to the gym over here? Um, is there something you need to do in the gym? Uh, no, not really. Unless I want to play some basketball. Some basketball of death. Um. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we are here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? Huh? Well, I have to force yourself to talk. We could just, I don't know, stare off into space or, so or whatever. Stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably super bored. <laughs> just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um, no, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just... do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. <laughs> You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Hey, um... This is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makato, do you have a dream? A dream? Well... What about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I, I guess uh, since we talked with uh, Leon Kuwada, that actually triggered this particular thing over here. So, I guess we can talk about dreams. Why not? My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up with a, without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know. So I was, so I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. <laughs> But more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I guess I can definitely see... I can definitely feel it as well. I decided it's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became a dream. That's... that's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your life, lifelong dream. Honestly... It's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Uh huh? You see? I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off of your dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um... In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. Mm. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no! Don't get don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. But but that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um. I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. 
to work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. Uh, yeah, and so if she wants to continue that dream of hers, some ugly things will happen. I can definitely feel that. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much. To get where she is, she must be terrified of losing it. Uh... You see? So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends. Forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped here. With no way out. They're probably waiting for me. <sighs> While I'm here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still... Sayaka? That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds... desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. I can imagine the same thing going for the rest of the students. Like, probably Asahina with her dream of becoming the best uh, swimming pro. With Toko, with Leon Kawada becoming a singer, maybe. Mm. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The witch is caring. I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um. I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, no, not at all. I mean, yeah, she did, but. What can you do about that? Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay. You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like, look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Oh, wow, really? What's your specialty? Chi oil! Y y you mean the condiment? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. She burst out laughing. Okay, well at least her mood uh, went back to cheerful. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright, si uh, bright smile I quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Um. Uh, hmm. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat, before returning to our rooms. Alright, well I guess that was definitely something. And there's my sword! The only thing in my room is... a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here, maybe I'll take a look around. Alright. I guess there's that. Maybe talk with somebody else. I had quite a talk with the Sayaka right now, so... You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Uh, absolutely. As you live out your school life, here, you'll be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your, your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points you will witness intimate events and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new, new skills which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to de develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. 
Yeah, so also keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. Oh. If you prefer not to engage in the free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then, uh, then what? Anyway, why don't you try out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizono? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? Well, except we already, we already, um, we learned quite a lot of uh, about uh, her. I mean, can't I just go after somebody else? I don't know. I guess uh, I guess I could just go somewhere else. I honestly don't know. So now it's daytime. I I realize that we uh, changed to daytime right now. Before it was like morning. So I don't know. Let's uh, let's see about the map. I know that I, I, hmm. I don't know. I guess I prob I could I could just uh, go and uh, see about some other stuff. I guess. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me just uh, talk to some people over here. Not really sure what I should do next. Kyoko? I'm looking after you, Kyoko. What are you doing here? Why is Hope Speak Academy like this? Very bizarre. I don't know exactly. But actually, you know what? I don't think they ever said uh, what uh, what Kyoko is actually. Like, what is she the ultimate of? Yeah, it still says that that the, the ultimate is like question mark they they are not telling me like what she is exactly like what is she doing over here that's why that's why I'm the most suspicious of um, because of uh, because of her it's just really really weird um, the laundry have I been here before I don't think so I think we I think we've been here before yeah we've been here before collected quite a bit of um, Monokuma coins a surveillance camera. Tihoi? Jiro, what are you doing over here? What do do? I'm kind of scared. Are we already trapped in here? Maybe. I guess we are. Not until we find a way to get out of this place, but, um, hmm. I don't know. I guess, uh. Well, actually, hold on. Let me just uh, see about some stuff over here. So, it said that we can. Give presents to people over here. I guess I could, uh, I could just uh, test this out with uh, with Chihiro. See if I can give her something. I don't know. We have uh, the G sick. Mm, that could be good. Some shears. Quality. I could give her the self-destructing cassette. <laughs> I don't know. That could be good. Um. It doesn't say that we are able to give presents, like, anywhere. I'm pressing every button over here, it doesn't feel like it. Maybe if I talk to her, what should I do? and then just give it like this? I'm not really sure. I mean, it did say that we can give presents, but uh, it didn't say... It didn't really explain, like, how. Let's see. Can I give this to her? Eh, it doesn't feel like it. Mm. I don't know, but uh, I guess... Uh, I guess we should go somewhere else, I don't know. Maybe I should listen to the game and say and go after Saika? See if uh, she has something to say? Mm. I guess I could. I guess I could just do that. 